Yo, what's up? This is Derek here with uh, TopSports.com. And what you see before you is uh, the TopSports.com uh, website. And today we're going to be uh, breaking down the uh, NFC East division. It's the first of our uh, eight division breakdown of the uh, 2015 NFL season predictions for uh, TopSports.com. And the first division to be a uh, preview is the uh, NFC East and we got the uh, Cowboys, Giants, and Eagles and my um, and if you if scroll down right here, scroll down the page these are my records that I, that I predict from the uh, NFC East Dallas we got the Cowboys 12-4, Giants 10-6 Redskins, Washington, nine and seven. Eagles, eight and eight. Um, my division winner, Dallas Cowboys. Um, as you see, I have the Giants as a tennis, a ten win ball club. Now that doesn't mean they're uh, having them as a shoe, uh, um, lock to make the wild card spot. I have a lot of other teams that I believe the Contend for that fifth or sixth wild card spot in the uh, NFC. But the Giants, I believe, are a 10 win team. But we're going to start out with the Cowboys. Many of you already know about the uh, Cowboys' um, loss of a uh, running back, DeMarco Murray, and, uh, to uh, the free agency, free agency to the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. You know, I believe that, uh, you know, they, with the acquisition of uh, Darren McFadden along with Joseph Randolph is going to be a very uh, lethal punch in the uh, NFL, in the uh, NFC. Uh, I know if, if McFadden can stay healthy, you know, for at least, I guess, 80% of the season, I, I believe that this could be a, a very dangerous ball club. It can be better than what I my space it, it could far exceed my expectations when we won that football. Uh, I believe Joseph Randall's going to be a, a good addition to that, uh, a good change of pace back, a change of pace back to the uh, Cowboys' uh, running game, running by that massive line. We saw, we all saw how um, talented he was last year, with, with the chances that the opportunities that he did have to play. So I believe that uh, they're going to win this division. Um, they, they locked up Bears Brown, new big contract. You know, still got Jason Witten, Terrence Williams. You know. Uh, that massive offensive line. You know, I mean, this is a very good ball club. I believe, you know, they, they will, this team will indeed contend for the uh, NFC uh, title and Super Bowl title as well. They will be a contender for the Super Bowl. Um, with the Giants, um, the team right here, the York Giants, I believe, they're going to win 10 games this year. Contend for the uh, Wild call spot, whether it be the fifth or sixth seed, they will not win this division. I'm not, they're not better than the Cowboys right now. I believe the defense is better than the Cowboys. You know, um, Jason Pierre Paul, he had the uh, fire incident, lost a few fingers. You know, unfortunately, they had a new contract, you know, wait for him to sign, but it fell through because of that, that uh, incident. Um, they're, um, uh, Defense is just, it's going to be the suspect. You know, um, Eli Manning, you know, has to bounce back from a, um, a, a, you know, a somewhat down season he had last year. But then, you know, we lost, they lost Victor Cruz to the uh, injury tour yeah, last season at the beginning of the season. But, uh, you know, Old, Odell Beckham Jr. stepped up, you know, showed that he's a, um, a premier player in this league, you know. You know, hopefully you know, he doesn't have a sophomore um, slump. You know, he got he's on the Madden. He's on the cover of Madden 2016. And, uh, I'm not superstitious you know, at all or anything like that. But, you know, players in the certain play, a lot of players in the past that have, you know, been on that cover of that game have had some uh, bad seasons, you know, or, you know, career enders, you know. You know but I believe Odell Beckham Jr., along with Victor Cruz, is coming back from that injury. is going to be a very uh, lethal punch in uh, the league this year. But I believe the Giants can uh, 
contend for a wild card spot in the playoffs. And my team right here, Philadelphia Eagles, is just, man, I don't know what to say, you know. I try not to, I'm trying not to, you know, beat up Chip, head coach Chip Kelly for all the moves that he's making. I just want to see uh, the fun, what the product is going to, the finished product is going to look like in the, uh, at the beginning of the season, you know, what kind of team this is going to be. You know what I'm saying? He got rid of Sean Jackson, LeSean McCoy, Jeremy Mack. You know, it's just, man, like, what, how, how is this team going to contend? How is this team going to contend for the NFC East? Got rid of Kerry Williams. Recently got rid of Brandon Borky. So that leaves Byron Maxwell by himself back there. You know, going up against guys like Dan Bryant, Victor Cruz, Odell Beckham Jr., Deshaun Jackson. It's a big difference when you face these guys twice a year rather than once every two to three years, you know. It ain't no, I mean, that con, even though that, that, even that contract that they signed match went to, I'm just kind of, you know, suspicious of that. You know, 25 million guaranteed. Not for Maxwell. I mean, he ain't got, he don't even, he's not even going to have the help. That he had in Seattle to help him out on that they was defense. But the only bright spots on this team is running back to Marco Murray and Darren Sproles, if you ask me. That's the only, you know, God forbid they go down with one of them go down with injury. It could be all over. Because I mean, Sam Bradford coming back, you know, from his injury. Um, you know, who knows what we're gonna see out of him, you know. And even they got Tim Tebow on the roster, Mark Sanchez, you know. You can see possibly, I wouldn't be surprised if you see Tim Tebow. Hopefully he does. Hopefully he does well. But we'll see how it goes. But, you know, have the Red Eagles right now. I have the Red Eagles at a record of 8-8. Uh, eight and, eight. and this team right here, right here, the Washington uh, Redskins. The Redskins, I mean. This is it for Rob, or um Robert Griffin III. You know this is his uh time to shine. You know he has the pieces in place to uh successfully uh run uh, Jay Gruden's office. I believe he can do it. Um, he has uh Pierre Garcon, Deshaun Jackson, um, Alfred Morris in the backfield defense. You got Ryan Kerrigan. You know, D'Angelo Hall comes back from his uh like he had an injury last year. I think he missed that rest of the season last year. Um they signed Ron we signed Ron Kerrigan. Ron Kerrigan, I mean. Um and recently they picked up uh Gene Gallette from uh who was released by the Saints because of that uh AC, uh incident that happened in uh twenty thirteen, I believe, on the beach. But um I believe that this team has the weapons, the firepower to make a, a serious playoff push this year. The Washington Redskins can do it. I mean, RG3 has to show some initiative to learn that uh, Jay Gruden's offense, to run that offense. I think he can do it. I'm not saying he should not be a, a dual threat quarterback, you know, use his legs, things like that, but maybe he should be smarter about it. We using it when he, use it when he runs the football. He takes off with it. Be like Russell Wilson, you know. Make smart decisions when you're running that football. You know what I'm saying? Slide. Like slide once in a while, you know what I'm saying? But I believe he can do it. He's showing his first season he can do it. But it's time for him to adjust and learn how to become a pocket passer in the NFL. This is not better. But I believe his team, the rest, Washington can go. Washington, Washington can go. As far as RG3 takes them. But I have them as a record of 9 and 7. Third place in the NFC East. Um, I believe that they can make a playoff run. I, I, you know, it's, I believe the Eagles can make a run in the playoffs. But it's going to be hard. You know, I mean, I, like I said before, I got the Giants as a uh, 10 win ball club, but that doesn't mean. I'm getting, I'm, I'm uh, penciling them in for a, a guaranteed wild card, wild card spot. 
But um, that's my um, prediction of the NFC East. I believe Dallas is uh, the Cowboys are a Super Bowl contender, and they will indeed contend be in the playoffs. There will be no late this no uh, late December Tony Romo uh, meltdown for the second season second second consecutive season in a row. Um, I think I believe this, this could be a very good division. But um, that's my pre- preview prediction of the uh, NFC East. 2015. That's all I have for today. Give me a like, comment, comment. Tell me, tell me what you think about this uh, division. Who you think is going to win it? In your opinion, give me a like, comment, subscribe. Um, in the description box below, check out uh, tops topsports.com, my website right here for the um the latest um, updates and. And if, you, and if you are really interested in uh, seeing what Top Sports is all about, sign up for the uh, TopSports.com newsletter for the latest promotions and updates on all uh, top and uh, sports-related uh, uh, issues. That's all I have for right now. Have a blessed day. I'm out.